I am your instructor, Rachel Alacard. You may refer to me as Master, Your Worship, or Mistress if you are feeling courageous. All of the instructions in this tutorial assume that your character is facing to the right. Should you forget this simple fact, your failure will be absolute and your punishment will be severe. One last note. This tutorial assumes you are using the technical layout. Please do remember this. I despise repeating myself. Now I shall explain the basic rules of Blaze Blue. Please do pay attention. Blaze Blue is a 2D fighting game wherein two players compete against one another by predicting their opponent's actions. Reflexes, judgment, and execution will be put to the test. Command your character to attack your opponent or defend against their attacks. The first player to reduce the other's health to zero takes the round. The player who wins the required number of rounds takes the match. Now, if you would be so kind to look at the screen, you shall see that near the top, in the center, are two numbers. The two green bars located on either side of the countdown timer represent the HP remaining for each character. On the left, you will find player one, and on the right, player two. As mentioned previously, the first to reduce their opponent's health to zero wins the round. There are, however, exceptions. If neither player can succeed in reducing their opponent to an inert mass of flesh and misery, the player who retains the greatest amount of health when the timer finishes its march towards zero will be declared the winner. You may also find yourself in a draw, wherein both parties have exactly the same amount of health remaining when the match ends, or a double down, wherein both you and your opponent are reduced to zero health at the same time. Ah, oh, yes, of course. If one player is a single round away from winning a match and a double down or draw occurs, only the player with fewer wins will gain one. This happens only rarely, as double downs and draws are not common, but you would do well to remember it. I believe that explains the basic rules rather nicely. Now, let us discuss character control. I confess I'm rather fond of this section. Excellent! There are many ways to move in Blaze Blue, but let's practice the most basic of movements. Walking forward, walking backward, and crouching. These skills will be invaluable once it comes time to maneuver your character around your opponent. Do find a way to imprint them on that hideous rotten excuse for a mind. We shall begin with walking forward. Push forward to move toward the sweaty gentleman. Three, two, one, action! Excellent! My goodness, perhaps you possess some elementary motor control after all. Shall we try walking backward now? Push backward to move your character away. Pushing backward will also allow you to guard against attacks while standing. Three, two, one, action! I won't lose you! I won't lose you! Excellent! Good heavens! Your skill is nothing short of astounding! I think I may faint! Lastly, let us try crouching. Push down, down backward, or down front. I recommend that you press down and back to crouch. In this way, you will guard as you crouch. A person such as yourself, for whom even breathing is an ordeal, should understand the value in this economy of movement. What are you waiting for? On your knees! Three, two, one, action! Time we discussed the dash. This will allow you to quickly close the distance between you and your opponent. Tap forward twice, quickly, whilst you are on the ground. If you can manage that, you should dash forward. 
If you hold forward the second time you press it, you will continue to dash in that direction. Now, perhaps you should try it for yourself. Three, two, one, action! I can hardly wait! Our next lesson regards the back step. This is a maneuver which allows your character to travel a short distance backward at high speed. It is best put to use distancing yourself from an opponent. While you are on the ground, press backward twice. This should execute a back step. Although I confess I doubt you can manage even so simple a task. Three, two, one, action! Excellent! Next, we have the aptly named jump. There are in fact a total of three different types of jumps. Forward, vertical, and backward. A forward jump is useful for closing in on one's opponents, while a vertical jump is best put to use avoiding an opponent's attacks. And a backward jump is frequently used to keep one's distance from one's opponents. Push up, up forward, or up backward to perform a vertical jump, forward jump, or backward jump, respectively. Now, let's give it a shot, shall we? Go ahead and try to jump. Do hurry. I'm not doing this because I enjoy it, you know. Three, two, one, action! This ain't exactly a playground. I can hardly wait! Excellent! I suppose it would be polite to mention that if one performs a forward jump during a dash, one can move a greater distance forward by utilizing the momentum of the dash. I realize that it is a great deal of information to absorb all at once, but do try and remember it. The double jump is an advanced kind of jump. The double jump is quite useful, allowing you to jump higher than you would be able to with a normal jump. Additionally, it is possible to change directions in mid-air by jumping in a different direction on the second jump. The double jump has myriad uses in advanced maneuvers, such as distancing oneself from one's opponent, or adjusting the timing of one's attacks to confuse one's opponent. I really do encourage you to learn the double jump. I believe you will find it quite useful. I believe that is quite enough instruction. Now, let's give it a try, shall we? Three, two, one, action! Move it! Excellent! A high jump is, amazingly, a jump that allows you to jump higher than a normal run-of-the-mill jump. There are three available for your use. Forward, vertical, and backward. The high jump is a move entirely different from the regular jump. Using the two in conjunction with one another opens up a great many possibilities. It also bears mentioning that one can use the double jump move during a high jump as well. To high jump, tap down, then quickly perform the motion for a jump. The jump one performs after tapping down will determine which high jump they execute. Therefore, a vertical jump will beget a vertical high jump, a backward jump, a backward high jump, and so on. If your feeble mind has managed to grasp this concept, then let us attempt a high jump. Three, two, one, action! I can hardly wait! Excellent! In theory, at least, the aerial dash functions in a similar manner to the double jump, by which I mean that performing the dash movement allows one to dash while in mid-air.
simple enough, yes? Perhaps even simple enough for you. Three, two, one, action! Move it! Move it! I can hardly wait! You're too weak to stand in front of me. Lesson clear. Expert use of the double jump, high jump, and aerial dash will allow one to execute a wide variety of mid-air maneuvers. I shall let you in on a small secret. To perform the fastest possible aerial dash, press up forward. Then allow the direction control to return to neutral and press forward once again. If you hope to ambush your opponent, or simply wish to attack them from many different angles, this move will be indispensable. Alternatively, performing the movement described but backward will allow one to achieve the fastest possible aerial backdash. Let me simply say in passing that the filthy sweaty ninja before us is capable of up to two additional aerial dashes following a jump, or a single aerial dash after a double jump. However, Ragnar, I'm afraid that you are only capable of either a double jump or aerial dash when in midair, so please do keep that in mind. I believe that should be sufficient for an overview of basic movement. As a result of my expert tutelage, even a creature such as yourself should now be capable of basic maneuvers. I await the day that you will be able to dance with me.